the world will move from words to action when 17 new targets for sustainable development are adopted at a summit meeting of the United Nations General Assembly in New York on the 25th of September. The aims are to halve the number of people living in poverty by the year 2030, to wipe out discrimination and violence against women and girls, and to tackle climate change immediately, and much, much more. It's a huge step forward for the world to now jointly express uh, sustainable development goals. Uh, all countries need to stand uh, jointly in the, in the force to tackle climate, to tackle poverty and to bring a better future for our children and grandchildren. The meeting is only the starting point for this long process. The whole world will actually sign up for a new agenda that in 15 years time we will achieve ecological, economic and social sustainability. And that means that the rich countries need to take a special responsibility in providing uh, expertise and help and partnering with the developing countries in order that we all can achieve this. Investing uh, long term in uh, systems for education and jobs and uh, equality and uh, equal rights and human rights uh, also mean that uh, this is uh, building peace and helps sustainable development. It will be the Minister for Foreign Affairs, the Minister for International Development Cooperation, the Minister for Climate and Environment, who together with the Prime Minister will travel to New York. Sweden may be a relatively small country, but is a role model anyway. Sweden has been a front runner when it comes to sustainable development, and especially in seeing that those issues are crucial if we're going to tackle poverty, if we're going to uh, have a good future for our children and grandchildren. And therefore, this, this work is particularly uh, important for Sweden to also bring to the world that you, you are strong if you are united globally. We have a leading role and actually also a role as, uh, as a model for, for other countries, especially when it comes to fighting climate change. I hope that they look at us as a, a generous contributor to, uh, to uh, creating a sustainable development. We all feel the sense of urgency that we need to get it right now to direct uh, the world into a sustainable pathway. Uh, because there's no time to waste anymore.